Today we are diving into how to create a teal and orange look for any clip in DaVinci Resolve super fast in just a few clicks. I've already added some test footage to the timeline, so let's jump straight to the color page. Here switch to the RGB mix setup. Now we have control over three channels – red, green and blue – and their respective outputs. To make this work for orange and teal, let's switch our node's color space to lab. Right-click the node, select color space, and here choose lab. So why is lab that important for our goal? Color spaces like sRGB, DCI-P3, Rec. 709 and Rec. 2020 all use the standard RGB model, where the red channel is used for reds, blue for blues and green for greens. Lab also has three channels, but they are L for lightness, A for green magenta component, and B for blue yellow component. This allows us to manipulate colors in unique ways. So in the blue channel, set the blue output to 0 and the green output to 1. And boom! Look at the difference on the vector scope. The colors compress along the teal and orange axis giving us that cinematic look. Ok, there's another way to get orange and teal look using the same technique, but this time with more focus on orange. Back in the RGB mixer, go to the green output, set the green value to 0 and the blue value to 1. And check the vector scope. We've shifted the colors more into orange, giving a different but equally interesting orange and teal look. See? Super easy. One quick setting to consider is the Preserve Luminance checkbox over here. When it's enabled, DaVinci automatically compensates for changes in color channels to keep the overall luminance constant. Just check it out when it's on and off. You might prefer one or the other, depending on your footage. In every instance, the rule is to keep the sum of the blue and uh, green channels within the output at 1. So instead of uh, 0 and 1, uh, we can opt for minus 1 and 2 for uh, an extreme look, or uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for a very subtle change. Another way to decrease the intensity of the effect is to navigate to node key and adjust the node gain here. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe down below for more DaVinci Resolve content. By the way, another great way to utilize LAB color space is for sharpening with less color noise, and I'm talking more about that in this video here.